things are beginning to change here in Scutari, thanks to the leadership and devotion of one Florence Nightingale. She is on her feet 24 hours a day, giving what comfort she can. so devoted to her, they kiss her shadow as it passes by. Although there is considerable contention, it's generally agreed that Florence Nightingale carried out the first clinical audit project during the Crimean War of the mid-1850s. Irrespective of whether this is correct or not, the following film provides a brief overview of Florence Nightingale's audit. Florence Nightingale and a group of 38 nurses arrived in Skatori, Turkey on the 4th of November 1854. Upon visiting the Selimai barracks, Nightingale and her nurses found wounded soldiers being poorly cared for by overworked and under-resourced staff. Nightingale and her compatriots began keeping records on the cause of death of British soldiers and her infamous polar area diagrams were used with great effect to demonstrate to the civil servants in the UK that the majority of troops were dying from preventable diseases such as typhus, cholera and dysentery as opposed to wounds sustained on the battlefield. Statistical evidence provided by Nightingale and her nursing team was influential in bringing about a number of changes in the care of the British soldiers. The most important change was undoubtedly the arrival of a sanitary commission in March 1855, which flushed out sewers and improved ventilation. This immediately reduced the death rate significantly. In addition, Florence's work led to the establishment of laundry facilities in each British battle hospital and an increase in medical supplies and medicines to treat members of the British Army. The success of Nightingale's audit cannot be underestimated. Upon her arrival in Scutori in 1854, over 40% of troops admitted to British battle hospitals died there. Following the changes that resulted from Nightingale's work, the death rate was cut to 2%. Although this work is now over 150 years old, it has relevance for healthcare professionals undertaking clinical audit today. For example, Nightingale's audit shows the importance of teamwork and the significant impact audit can have on resolving problems and improving patient outcomes. Nightingale's work is also an example to all auditors of how to present complex data in an easily understandable format. It should also be noted that after the Crimean War, Nightingale returned to the UK and transferred much of her learning to overhaul hospital sanitary care with great effect.